guys welcome back um i'm working on the setup here anyways today we are going to get into a heck of a lot of unboxings um i told you i was moving towards fitness and working on some legging things well let me show ya we have these and these and we're gonna check them all out today so let's get right into it the first thing we have is a monthly subscription box by the legging box now this is all kinds of leggings not just workout leggings but this runs $14.99 a month and it is a recurring monthly subscription so every month they send out one pair of leggings and $14.99 isn't too bad but it is kind of look withdrawal what kind you get if it's like everyday leggings lounge leggings workout leggings whatever um, you do get to put in your size preferences and all kinds of things like that but they're still fairly new from what I can gather and this is my first month of their box so <clears throat> let me get out my handy dandy tiny little eyebrow scissors here because, or eyelash scissors because I've lost all my cutting instruments and we're going to see what is in this box. Now, nope. I've been a horrible YouTuber. And I've had these things sitting here for a while because <laughs> <coughs> I've been sick. And my son recently broke his hand. And so we've been dealing with getting that fixed in surgery and whatnot. So anyways, inside this box um, comes like this. And we have our shipping information with a nice little note that's so cute. Um, and then it comes with hair leggings in here and some pink paper. And kind of pulls that. And so these are the leggings. They're kind of an olive green and they have this like ribbed type detailing over the knees. It does not go in the back. Um, these are, they're just called a high rise legging and they're called from a brand called Love Mood. So, yeah, this is all we have. I don't know. Um, they do feel very brushed. They're very soft. Um, they're 92% polyester, 8% spandex. Oh, yeah I mean they are very thin they're absolutely leisure you can see me through them see ah definitely leisure and probably wear like a long sweater over them but they're super soft and super cute so you know not bad for our first pair but not what I kind of hoped for I guess when I signed up for the box but it is a cheap box so I guess I wasn't expecting Lululemon and there either so mm, that's okay um it does have this like elastic in the waistband here is a very small seam here yeah, and there's elastic in that waistband so all right I'm gonna set those aside and the next thing that we have is this muscle it's called like muscle me box yeah it's a muscle box now it doesn't normally come this way and I got an email that they like sold out of my box or something and so they substituted it with their bigger box or a different box but put the main item that was in my box in here for me. Um, it normally comes in a smaller box things the size of like BoxyCharm and it's normally a colored box like pink or purple. This here? Pretty boring, but it does say women's full body slam box right here. So yeah, it says it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and I did just cut this off. All right, so in here, it does appear to be packed pretty full. So let's see what it is. Um, the first thing it says, I'm here, let's work out. One of these plastic bags, kind of like Gymshark. It does say it's a size medium right here. So, okay. So, this is like a cropped sweatshirt. It's got 
gray and white and it is a maroon it is the brand hyperware it has the little emblem on the back it does feel pretty thick and soft on the inside it feels pretty heavy which kind of sucks because we're coming out of winter right now so i don't really need things this heavy um this is 60 percent cotton 40 percent polyester blend designed in australia made in china so there is that i guess it's pretty basic if you have a pair of gray leggings then you can wear that with this or white or maroon i suppose um so that's okay set that to the side this box is monthly recurring subscription as well and i think it comes out of my account at 28.99 a month i think it's 22.99 plus six dollars shipping <coughs> so i know i mean you get clothes in there too so i guess it's not too bad i'm just not i'm still on the fence there hasn't been anything in any of my past boxes that has absolutely blown me away actually in my, in my past box that blew me away this is my second box so i don't know i kind of try to get things like a three month run and if i love them i keep them if i don't then i kind of cut them out of the budget so you move on to something else the next thing we have in here also from hyper um this looks to be what took up most of the room in the box um okay so it is a gym duffel it's not super big but it does have a little pocket here on the side um it has a clip for a long handle here it looks like um, ow, my nail stuck in there and then there's a little pocket over here is this one of those yeah this is one of those like shoe pockets where you put your shoes in there um do velcro the stitching doesn't seem all that great on here you see this it's a string um it does come with a long handle so that's good and then on the inside there is a really large pocket and then a fairly small pocket on the side and honestly it kind of stinks but i mean it's a gym bag so if you're looking for a gym bag they gave us one this month so great and it's just basic black with white lettering on it yeah, nothing phenomenal nothing spectacular the next thing i find in here i'm disappointed y'all let me tell you something about me that makes me weird I don't like peanut butter. <laughs> I don't like anything peanut butter aside from Reese's peanut butter cups. And the only peanut butter cups I like, I don't like any of the brands. And I don't like them all of the time. I just like them sometimes. Brings me to the next thing that's in here. This jar of peanut butter. Now it is a whole jar of peanut butter. But, um, yeah, there's 10 servings per container in here. This is the Angry mills caffeinated protein infused peanut spread there's 12 grams per serving of protein it's from sinister labs and this is in flavor killer caramel um there's a warning on here it says first time users take one teaspoon of angry mills peanut spread to assess your tolerance okay but I think this might be an expiration date right here. Can you see that? It says 417 of 20. Um, that is like, that's in like six weeks. That's crazy to me, but you know, we'll our peanut butter. Something this box doesn't come with is a card that tells you how much everything retails for. So sometimes they put in little snippets of, hey, you got this and it's supposed to retail for X, Y, or Z. And they never do everything in the full box, so you never really know what the value is. Um, the next thing in here is, looks like a little sample pack. Ultima Replenisher Electrolytes, pure and simple, gluten-free, all six electrolytes, plant-based, keto, paleo, zero sh sugar calories. So there's three little packets in here and it looks like you just add them into a bottle of a 16 fluid ounce bottle of water. It's 
So that's what these look like. And there are three of them. It looks like pomegranate, raspberry, and lemon. So it is flying across my room. It is a uh, sample pack. It says right there, sample pack. So we got these samples. We got this lot of paper. Um, okay, here's what I was talking about. This is... They give us a little snippet. So the Hyper Gym Bag supposedly sells for $45. And then the Peanut Spread is $10. So we get this little card. And this is someone named Jackie. Or Coco. I guess she collaborated on making this month's box. So that is in here. They also, this is something I do like about it. They give you this little booklet, which is great. And I guess this is, yeah, it's Miss Muscle Box and Coco Full Body Slam Box. But inside this, they give you a lot of workouts. So there's all of these workouts that you can do in here, which is really cool. Because if you're getting this box, you're probably one of the gym or working out, you know. So it's cool. The last two things we got in here are, they're called Flapjack and they're cookie bars. So we have this cookie bar, this is chocolate peanut butter. I will be rehoming that. And then this one is chocolate chips. And I think, oh no, these are definitely not like keto friendly or low carb friendly. These both have 25 grams of carbs and two grams of fiber so like 23 net carbs it's crazy for these but they're 215 calories and they are 10 grams of protein so really good for after after a workout a uh, little snack for that so that's good i mean <coughs> i don't really know how i feel about this box right now um sweatshirt a duffel and some snacks that i can't eat and some water flavors, which is really cool. Um, I'm, I guess I'm not really, I'm trying to kick things over. I guess I'm not really all that enthused about this month's box, I suppose. But anyways, we have one more package. And this last package is one that I paid for. Um, I have been seeing this brand all around. Um, Instagram is making some money off of their ads for sure. Um, so I went ahead and I bought some items from this brand. You see them as TYC or Till You Collapse. Um, they're a brand that in my mind I associate with Gymshark, but their styles are coming completely different than Gymshark. I'll go ahead and link the items I got below. But I purchased three different pairs of leggings to try because trying to make sure there's nothing else in this loud ass bag and there was there was a sticker um it's pink camo and it says tyc on it <coughs> um there's my little shipping page look and even they wrote a nice little note on my my little shipping confirmation so i ordered three different kind of leggings and after discount codes and stuff like that because you know they're often ended up spending about $150. Um, so I got three different leggings. Let me tell you what here. So this pair right here, and I got them all in size large because I really wasn't sure if I should get a large or an extra large, but I'm trying to shrink. So hopefully the large will work. Um, this is, um, this one's called the Intensity Crescent Leggings. I got a large, which they say is a size 10, in the color rose gold, and these were originally $44.99. Now, I'm gonna pull these out of the bag. These are very soft, but kind of slippy. The first thing I notice, um, there is no seam in, in the top of the waistband, and they have this booty detailing if you can see the stitching here around your booty that's supposed to like contour and these are supposed to be a um, 7 8 to full length depending on your height they have the little emblem right here 
and the stitching seems to be all right it does get a little bit messy right here by the booty grip can you see that um it does have a front seam but they do they're very very dense very stretchy I'm trying to see what they are made out of but they do not have Ooh, i did not notice this they have this little contour mesh detail right here. How cute is that? I think it goes under the back of your thigh, so that's super cute. Kind of curves below the booty. But I don't see what they're made out of. So I'll try to figure that out and link it in the description box as well. So moving on to the next pair. I'm going to do a try on video for you guys at some point. I'm just. I'm really struggling with body image and struggling with getting my room set up so there's a place for me to actually take these photos and videos and stuff. The next pair is called Resilient Heart Booty Leggings and they're in speckled gray. I also got those in a large and they retail for $59.99. Ugh, let's out. These ones feel more cottony. Um, ooh, and these ones have a pocket. So, I'm going to open them up. They are, I think actually they might go with that sweater, that sweatshirt really cute. Well, so yeah, these definitely are a lot more thin. Um, we can see the light coming through. Can you see my face? Um, so these are probably not squat proof. <laughs> um, if they are, I would be extremely surprised. Um, they do have some detail and contour stitching. They have the same kind of booty contour, which is going to be really hard to see. Um, yeah, virtually impossible to see on this print. But they do have pockets on each side, which is great. There is a seam towards, not the whole top, but just like the sides of the top here. So, like right here is the seams, like right here. But the rest is seamless strange um these are also full length i don't like shorter leggings so that's probably all you're gonna see for me unless you know my taste changed but it hasn't yet we also have this gray almost silver logo right here on the butt well on the back of the waist i guess but i call it the boot and again nothing of what this is made out of what they're made out of so i will just have to uh Look that up. Let's move right on to the last pair, which I think this is my this is my favorite. I really like I had to force myself to buy these ones because they're pretty expensive. And these are the Effortless Classic Leggings in the black camo. And these are definitely more of a um, slippy material than the gray pair. These are black camo, and this is the back. So we have the logo there, and we have the kind of V-shaped detail seaming that goes down to kind of contour your booty a little bit, but there's nothing on the rest of the booty like there is on the others. Um, there's a front seam, of course. There's no pockets on this. There's no seam across the top. Um, these are printed on white, so I can imagine, yeah. When you stretch them, unfortunately, they may not go sheer, but they will show white. So, that kind of sucks. I'm kind of disappointed with that. Um, oh, I thought there was a stain on them or something, but it was just a fuzzy. I don't know where it picked up. Again, no idea what these are made out of. Oh, yes, these are 75% polyester, 25% spandex. Did I miss that on the others? I did! I'm an idiot, y'all. The gray ones are 87% nylon and 13% spandex. And the rose gold ones are 80% polyester, 20% spandex. So the same as these. But, okay. So, your girl's an idiot. It's okay, though. Um... They both look fairly large. They don't really have much of a crotch gusset, which 
don't know how this is gonna go with the old camel, you know. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, there's no like extra padding in here or anything like extra material where it's supposed to be. So I don't know. But this is what I got today. So thanks for coming and checking out my unboxings. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get. I was able actually. I haven't got it edited up yet. Some workout footage. Just. A couple of my little workouts that I do during the day and I think yeah I think it was late day that day so I was able to get a couple it's just so awkward my gym is really busy sometimes a lot of the times that I go unfortunately it's kind of busy and it's busy with people that are like kind of like gym rat people and I'm so not there I'm not comfortable filming um because i feel like it draws attention to me and people stare at me and people watch me and i'm terrified i'm doing something wrong or i look a fool or you know i just i'm a big girl at the gym so it kind of sucks but <laughs> not ready for people to pay attention yet anyways um thanks for watching and if you haven't done so yet click that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one